this, huh? Saturday, July 6th, um, the day after I posted my last video, which was actually last night. So, um, in it, you probably heard me say I was scratching around and hopefully hoping that it would rain a little bit or rain kind of hard to wash something out. So, it just finished a big storm. As you can see, it's wash and I got something that's washed out right there. Um, I flipped it from here. Sorry. I flipped it from here to there because I thought it was a flake, of course. Um, and this definitely wasn't here yesterday or the day before because I was right here. So, here's to the hard rain, right? So, let's try to, let's try to figure out what this one is. Gonna be Morrow Mountain Type One. Um, for those of you that don't, in the areas that watch my videos that are not that familiar with the Morrow Mountain, there is a subtype, or sometimes called a Type Two, but this is a Type One. Um, and a pretty nice one. Um, I'll have to get a clean up on it a little bit and see. Um, what kind of I can't tell if it's a super high grade of quartz, but probably about middle of the road it looks like so I've got a few more feet to cover here um, Hopefully I don't know it may rain again, so Anyway guys, thanks for all the comments last night on my last video. I appreciate all that and um, Hopefully I'll have Some more, you know segments coming up soon. So thanks Hello again folks uh, It is Tuesday, um, it's drizzling rain as you can see, or maybe you can't, kind of misty over that way, but uh, you guys have seen me at this site before where uh, I'm always in the tracks of somebody else that's been looking this really heavy. Had a couple of hard rains on it. Uh, uh, it's just a flake. Uh, I haven't found anything uh, of significance uh, or any, let me say this, anything complete yet. Um, and I just real quickly wanted to show you what I did come up with so far. Um, that stuff right there. This is a real shame. That Appalachian. Um, it's an old break. All three of these are. But anyway, uh, I'm going to keep my head down and looking before some heavier rain gets here. But uh, anyway, anyway, guys, wish me luck, and uh, I wish you luck too. Thanks. Okay, folks, uh, I know this is broke, but 
man. Look at the size and the ant on it. <laughs> Good. Yeah, very old break. Man, I wish I could find the rest of that. Okay, guys, I'm probably calling it quits. Unless I find something between here and the truck, that'll probably be it for today. Thanks for watching. Greetings, uh, Ridge Raider back here at the uh, Appalachian Face. It's probably been three, four, uh, maybe four weeks since I've been here and look what happened. It's just almost completely grown over. Uh, I rode the dual sport motorcycle in here. It's over, parked over there and I'm walking up through here to just try to find a bear spot or two. In this wash where I found a really nice Appalachian uh, about a year ago here. So, anyway, uh, I was just raking right in here, and I, I raked this guy out. Uh, tip gone. Savannah. What I'm guessing on that. Looks like a recent break too. Uh, hard to really tell, but till I get it cleaned up. But anyway, not real, not not bad. I didn't think I was going to see a thing, and may not. So I'm going to check another spot about a mile that way. Um, maybe a little bit further than that. One other spot, and then I'm going to call it quits for today. It's just too hot. So anyway, guys, wish me luck. And thanks for tuning in. Okay, folks. Uh, it's really hot. Uh, there's the bike way over there. This spot right here, uh, I found a couple of brokes last year. Uh, frequent chips. Every time that I come over on this side I I stop and look but I don't spend a lot of time here uh, just because I felt like there's not a lot you know there's just uh, there is some high quality quartz flakes here um, and I think what well, might have been a broken Guilford base and maybe a maybe a Morrow Mountain base that I found here last summer um, but I've got something over here that's just killer in the ground. I mean, just laying out. Uh, I'm so glad I stopped here. I almost blew right past this spot. I, it's a fifth gear section right there on the road, and I almost didn't even stop here because it's you know it never has really produced much. But man, I'm so glad that I stopped. Um, let's just uh, let's just check this out. Would you look at that? I can't tell if all that ear is there in one of those tanks. I can't, it's hard to, see. for the most part, it's complete, serrated. And I'm going with either a Hardaway or maybe a Dalton, serrated Dalton, um, which is, you guys know, it's really old stuff. And that, that signifies an old site here. Um, I'm gonna look at really close this, section here before I make it to the last spot that I'm going to check uh, but anyway let's uh, try to get it to focus for some reason this just doesn't want to do it and there we go hey guys you'll have to stay with me because I'm, man this is just something else here this is a really nice piece
just a little damage on that right, oh sorry, right side of off the back oh man that one was worth the trip right there that's a really old one slight slight ding there and I can't tell if that one's broken or not right there it looks like it's just worked that way some basal thinning going on here and here Maybe even some grinding right there. It's, yeah, I think so. But anyway, guys, let me uh, let me look around some more and uh, hopefully find some more like this. That's what it's all about. Thanks. Okay guys, I'm at my final spot I was going to check just after finding that. What I think is, I don't know, it could be Hardaway or Hardaway Dalton. Uh, there in that flat spot where those guys have been doing donuts with their side-by-sides and four-wheelers. And thank you guys for that because it churned it up for me. And I've been to this site, which is, I don't know, half mile from there through the woods. Uh, and you guys have seen me find stuff here before that really really nice uh, black dover shirt uh, scraper that's in one of my videos came from this spot and some other ones but guys i don't know what to say i've got something here that's just laying flat it's as crystal clear as i of a point that's complete as i've ever found um i'm telling you i I hope this is a sign of some, some more things to come today. Uh, let me locate it again. Okay, right here we are. Uh, first, before I pan over to it, big hunk of chert of something I have no idea what kind. If any of you guys know, chime in and tell me because I'm not an expert on chert because there's just not that much of it here uh, there there is some but it's not like it is in some places but anyway there's that and i guys want you to just feast your eyes on this guy almost doesn't even look real it's like a piece of glass i've taken all kinds of pictures of it um is there an ear there I, it looks blunted sort of maybe i don't I bet you guys are asking yourself, what is that? Well, I'll tell you what it is. That is a rock. The story behind it is, I took my granddaughter swimming today in the river. And she found this, and she came running up to me and she said, Papa, is this an arrowhead? So I just had to save it and maybe share it with you guys and comment on it. Um, also, guys, I would like to thank all the new subscribers that I've gotten in the last, I don't know, week. Kind of a little surge going on there. Don't know why, but anyway, thanks. And I'll hopefully have a new video up soon. Happy hunting.